this is about steps of birth control <clears throat> now what is birth control or the process of, of birth control first we must know what are the um, what is birth control so to uh, to prevent uh, more than twice pregnancy to prevent unwanted pregnancy few processes can be followed following are the processes first one is natural method methods each i will discuss in later discuss in detail later then coming to first one is one of the processes of birth control is natural methods then barriers barriers can be used third one intra uterine uterine ducts intra uterine ducts the short form is iud iud's then next one using pills pills can also be used except then pills sterilization method that is surgical method sterilization or surgical method can be also used along with that we can also use okay now coming to the first method natural methods so natural methods means in which any kind of chemical or any physical substance is not used this is basically of two types actually three types first one is periodic abstinence what is this during uh, the menstrual uh, cycle um, according to the menstrual cycle uh, the couples either uh, get involved in the coitus or they avoid uh, coitus so how it is done at the time of when ch chances of fertilization are higher the uh, the couples cap couples couples avoid or abstain coitus that is up to 7 10 to 17 days of menstrual menstrual cycle when ovulation can be expected now coming to the next one that is withdrawal or coitus in next one is withdrawal comma withdrawal or coitus interruptus what is this during coitus the male uh, withdraw or remove uh, it, uh, his penis from the female reproductive structure so that the semen or ejaculation occurs outside so there won't be any chance of there won't be any chance of uh, fertilization because the sperm is uh, ejaculated or released outside the female body now third one is lactational amenorrhea it's lactational amenorrhea 
what is this during the lactation period when mother breastfeeds the child up to 6 months after uh, the child birth there won't be any chance of uh, a female getting pregnant because there uh, the cycle the menstrual cycle do not occur during this period which is followed by parturition but um but their um, chances of failure are there and as uh, no medicine or devices are used in these methods side effects there are no side effects now coming to the next one that is barriers barriers are basically four types of barriers are used condoms diaphragms then cervical cap and valves so we all know condom uh, condoms are made up all these are barriers so what they do they prevent uh, make fusion of sperm with the ovum how they do that they do not allow uh, the sperm to be ejaculated or released inside the vagina that is they prevent basically barriers prevent insemination now coming uh, to the detail so uh th- this is made up of latex sheath and they uh, cover uh, the penis in the male or the vagina or the cervix in the female just before the coitus so as i said ejaculated semen would not enter into the female reproductive tra female reproductive tract nero is a popular ba- brand of condom used for male there are several uh, bands um brands available now um they also prevent std like aids these are disposable and can be self uh, inserted so gives privacy to the users now uh, these others diaphragm cervical caps and valves are also made up of rubber but they basically are inserted in female reproductive uh, tract during uh, the coitus so they block entry of uh, sperms because uh, and along with the uh, the barriers reusable uh, sorry these uh, valves cervical caps uh, diaphragms are re- reusable along with the barriers spermicidal creams jellies and foams foams are also used to increase contraceptive e- e- efficiency now coming through the intrauterine ducts those are again three types first one is non medicated second one second one is copper coated copper coated or copper induced you can say third one is third one is hormone releasing i u d so third one is hormone releasing now giving examples so non medicated iud's include lipples loop copper releasing include cut cu7 and multi load 375 hormone releasing iud's include prosta pro sorry it's Uh, progesterone lng20 
okay why these uh, what is the basic function of these iud's they increase phagocytosis phagocytosis that is killing of sperm within the uterus and cu in uh, including that copper releasing or copper induced they release and suppress they uh, the copper released suppress sperm motility and fertilizing capacity hormone releasing obviously it's easier to understand make the uterus unsuitable for implantation and the cervix hostile to the sperm it is widely used in india now next one is pills pills are basically of uh, as we know it's basically two types uh, either we can we uh, either uh, daily or weekly pills can be used daily or weekly daily or weekly or emergency contraceptive pills can be used in case of emergency like when a female is raped or in case of unwanted pregnancy now what are uh, what are the functions or what is the method used in pills they can either contain small doses of progesterone uh, progesterone or both progesterone and estrogen combination It, these the daily pills are taken uh, for a period of 21 days starting preferably within first few, 5 days of menstrual cycle they what is the function they inhibit ovulation and implantation as well as they alter quality of cervical mucus to prevent and retard prevent and or retard entry of sperms saheli is one example and emergency now coming to emergency contraceptive pills they must be administered within the 70 Two hours of coitus, that is within, as we know, th three days. Now coming to the final method, that is sterilization. Here, two types of uh, sterilization methods are shown. Sterilization can be said as surgical methods. Basically, two types. depending on where surgical in which uh, person it is done depending on the gender it's tubectomy and vasectomy tubectomy and vasectomy so basically this is the terminal method why because once this method is applied there won't be any more pregnancies so they block what is done in this uh, method block gamete transport and they thereby prevent conception in the male it is called vasectomy and in female it is called tubectomy now in case of vas vasectomy what is done vas difference is removed or tied up through a small incision on the scrotum and in case of tubectomy a small part of fallopian tube is removed or tied up through a small incision in the abdomen or through vagina but these processes are not reversible either vasectomy or tuber a uh, tubectomy cannot be reversed means um if you untie it a, a person cannot a female cannot be pregnant again or a male in case of male person um, they cannot uh, ejaculate sperm means insemination cannot occur but they do not 
decrease the efficiency of coitus.